Alright, um, how's it going everybody, it is, um, Wednesday evening, uh, December the 2nd, 2020, just doing a vlog, um, I haven't done a vlog in a while, I'm gonna take my hood down, cause I don't want people to think I'm gonna gain or whatever, I'm not, but yeah, just doing a vlog, um, I haven't done a vlog in a while, and I'm just doing it now, not too bad actually it's like plus three outside a little nice for december but hope it starts snowing soon i love the snow i don't like too much snow but i'd rather way too much snow than way too cold you know what i mean i want to make sure it's recording all right oh shit hold on okay let's hope it's not sideways it's like my last video shit here I hate when cars have to turn where I want to cross. I hate that shit. Shit, holy dirty. But yeah. Did a rant last night on when um, good YouTube videos either get deleted or private. Oh, I can't stand that. You know, there's a video I like on YouTube and that either gets deleted or private. Like... What's so bad about that? You know? Oh, some smells good. It smells like barbecue, so I'm gonna switch hands, but this hand is freezing. But yeah. So there's usually nothing bad about those videos. So why'd you delete or block them, stupid YouTube? Well, it's usually the users, but who do that shit? But come on. I love those videos. I don't think this is gonna be a long vlog, but. We'll see what happens. You know, what got me the idea to do that, that rant is because, um, um, because there's, there's some, um, our first ever Jets game between the Oilers, um, in 2012, um, the full game was uploaded, and I thought, um, I asked Zerg72 if he can upload the Ducks and Oilers one. He said he doesn't have it. And it sucks. Got me depressed. Because I can't find it anywhere. The highlights on the internet of the full game. The only clips of that game are the fights. Uh, George Peros, Zach Sortini, Dean Arsini, Mike Brown. Uh, Jobert Brule's goal and George Peros' goal. You know... It gets me depressed. I can't find it anywhere on the internet. And I can't find Mark Antoine Pouliot's goal anywhere. You know, because on the recap on the U NHL YouTube channel, they didn't add it. You know, I hate when they don't include all the goals. Like, Come on, show all the goals, for fuck's sakes. I don't know if it's the guy who runs the NHL YouTube channel, but if it is, he, they need to be fired. Like, I'm serious. But yeah, not much new today. Um, here in Manitoba, um, it's like like 277 cases of COVID today. Still not good, but it's better than like three or four hundred. I don't know how many deaths though, but sadly we did have a lot of deaths. But honestly, I think majority of them are majority of those people who died probably died with COVID. You know. Because if, if you're young and you get COVID, um, young and healthy, the chances of you dying from it is like 99.9% .9 chance is what I heard. But if you have like, the people who should be really, really aware of COVID are elderly people and people with health issues. You know, like me, I don't have any health issues. Yeah, I'm overweight, but I don't have like breathing problems or whatever. I don't have diabetes. I have none of those. Oh shit, it's probably gonna be a hard one to cross. Hard streets to cross because I think it's rush fucking rush hour. Oh I hate rush hour. So my ears are getting cold. No, that's why I have this. I'm not in the gangs. I just don't because my ears are fucking cold. But yeah. Some of these restrictions are fucking stupid. 
Like when you go to like Walmart or any stores, some stores, um, only like one customer per family is allowed to go in. Like, that's how stupid is that? And I heard, uh, at Walmart they blocked out the non-essential items like toys, electronics, etc. You know, I think they blocked up close to just stupid. Like, how's that gonna um, stop the spread of COVID? It's not gonna do shit. I hope no one hears me. It's gonna be a controversial topic because it might start shit or whatever. I don't know. And some people waiting the, like lines outside of stores. You know, that's stupid. Some people are gonna freeze to death. They can't wait that long. Oh. It's coming from over there. I'm not. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a road rage. <laughs> that keeps going on. I'm gonna cross here. Hope I don't slide or slip. Someone's birthday. It's on a... Shit, someone coming. I'm just gonna pause the video. But then that guy comes closer. So I don't, I don't want him see me do the video. He'll ask me questions. You know. He might give me shit for videotaping. That'll piss me off. You know. Stupid. Oh, I think it might be going the other way. I don't know, it's hard to see. But you know what I mean. I'm gonna go this way because I don't wanna be gone too long. It's getting dark outside. Hold on. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna cross here. And I feel bad. Again, I feel bad for kids that have to go to school because they have to deal with wearing face masks all day. Sometimes they have to like do online work at home. You know, ugh, I've done that little bit of uh, online work and it fucking sucked. I built a sidewalk in that area. Like, I'll show a quick clip. Like, I wish I built a sidewalk there. There's no sidewalks. Ah, that's what it is. Can't do nothing about it. But, anyways, um, yeah, I hope it starts snowing soon. Some people got their Christmas decorations off, which is awesome. But, yeah. My uncle from Alberta is coming uh, here. He's pretty excited. He's gonna, he might leave either tonight or tomorrow. He's we're pretty excited. And we're shoot the puck around to my yard. There's a school. I don't wanna. I don't wanna do that. Like, give me shit. Ugh. I hate when people do that. Like, give me shit for filming. But come on, stop being sensitive, people. I like get some things you shouldn't film like that should be off camera. I do agree with that, but come on. But other stuff, come on. You know, again, it might be like tragic or whatever. I 
You know what I mean. I hope there's no coyotes over there. Not through then, it'll go to the fields. I still want to be out too long. So I don't want my parents like worried about me or whatever, you know. But I told them I'm doing the vlog, so if I don't answer them, that's what I'm doing. I don't know, that'll suck. There's like a wild animal over there, like a bear, uh, coyote, fucking even a bison. Imagine if bison escapes from the Acetamorin Park Zoo. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that'll suck, yes. There's a coyote there. Oh, I'm fucked. I am D E A D. I'm meat. But yeah. Um. And I heard, like, if you're like by like a wild animal, I heard you have to like just stay calm, don't run away, because that's when they chase and hunt you down, you know? But they're scared though, what are they supposed to do? They don't wanna get eaten. You know? But yeah, I was talking about earlier about COVID restrictions. Some of them are fucking stupid. Oh, there's a mask. I don't know if you can see that because it's black. But, yeah. I don't, I don't know if Joe Biden's officially the president of the United States. Yeah, I don't know if it's official, but. I don't know, some people still say Trump won, even if he says it. I don't know, I heard they cheated. I heard they cheated, they raked it because they don't want Trump to win. Holy fuck, some people just despise Trump. You know, and this is coming from a Canadian. He's not that bad. He's done pretty good for your country. I'm not trying to get political here, but uh, Americans watching us, be lucky you don't have that idiot Trudeau um, running your country. No one heard me because I don't want to start shit. I'm probably gonna start shit in the comments though. But do I care? No. Um, but yeah. Hockey news on um, new Patrick Lane trade rumor it involves the Seattle crack and like this honestly this whole thing's just pissing me off. I wonder if he's turning. Nope. It's pissing me off, you know? Like the Jets will be um, idiotic they traded him, you know, still a future generational goal scorer, maybe not be the next Ovechkin, but, like, the next Alex Ovechkin, but, you know, I'm fine with that, I'd rather him be, like, the next Timu Solane for the Jets, like, Jets 2.0, because, um, I don't know, apparently the Jets don't own the original history anymore, which is bullshit, because of the fucking coyotes on there. Hey, that's bullshit. I'm gonna get how it works, because the same franchise or different, whatever, but come on, it should matter to the city more. You know, Dale Howard tried to play most of his career here. He didn't play a single game in a coyotes uniform. Same with Solani, he didn't either. Uh, it's another... Uh, and people say Ilya Kovalchuk is like the best Jet. He didn't play a single game for this Jets team. He played for the Thrashers, Devils, Canes, Canadians, and Capitals. Well, mostly for the Thrashers, but in Atlanta, not Winnipeg. For God's sake. But I don't know, these Lonnie Trailers are pissing me off. And what do you expect? It's coming from uh, LeafsNet, also known as SportsNet. You know, fuck SportsNet, man. Well, not really, but. Yeah. Just stupid. 
I don't know, sports. And they're anti anything not made beliefs. They're extremely anti Winnipeg. And yeah. Well, anything, everything's anti Winnipeg, but. Seriously, though. It's a lot of. I think the reason a lot of these trade rumors about Wanda going on. Also, they think because they might be a bust. He ain't a bust. He's just streaky as hell. That's the only, his only problem. And it's this awkward skating style that makes him look bad. But no, people uh, underrate his playmaking. He doesn't have like Crosby playmaking styles, but he's nowhere near as good as Crosby's playmaking, but he's pretty decent. You know? Jesus. And another thing, sort of talk about this, is a lot of people just hate the city of Winnipeg so much. Come on. Like, Winnipeg's not that bad. You know, I lived here since November 5th, 2006. Have I, do I, um, the city of Winnipeg didn't do anything bad to me and my family. You know, like, again, who gives a fuck if it's, sorry, I thought I heard someone, but. Again, who gives a fuck if it's the murder capital? Again, it's only like certain areas, like the North End, North Point, Douglas, and Elmwood are the bad areas. The rest of Winnipeg is fine. And I guess downtown somewhat, but seriously though. Yeah, I like other cities too, don't get me wrong, but I don't know enough talking about that. I think BML's starting to whine again. I don't know, they literally just cry about everything. They claim that everything's racist, everything's anti-black, racist, you name it. Yes, I do agree Black Lives Matter, but the group is an SJW group. They literally complain that everything's racist, everything, every, everything is uh, white people's fault. But yeah. Come on. Isn't that a little racist? Come on. If that was the other way around. Um, no, there would be sued. Hate crime, you name it. I don't know. I do agree black lives matter, but all lives matter. All lives matter. Not just one certain race. Honestly, like they are racist. Like I'm sick and, and tired of people. Like when someone says all lives matter, they they call them racist. You know, like that's the truth. All lives matter, not just one certain race. So like they're saying like all lives don't matter except blacks. Like that's fucking racist. You know, Jesus. And they say like all lives matter until don't matter until black lives do. Uh black lives already matter. All lives already matter. If you can't accept that. But yeah. And when they say defund the police, all oh, that gets, drives me up a wall. Without cops, this world will be unsafe to live. There's gonna be crime 24-7. More murders, more shoplifting, more sexual assaults more carjackings, uh, any other crime, you name it. But yeah. I don't know, how the fuck do their brains work, man? I don't know. I don't know. This might be a controversial topic, but I don't care. But it's true though, all lives matter. Whoever thinks that says to fund the police is a good idea. I don't know what they do. They need, they need a 
really a big punch in the face with a reality check. You know? Oh, they just need a slap in the face. Or punch. No, no, no. A punch in the face. A sucker punch in the face. That's what they need. Like, say you say defund the police, and then someone like robs you or breaks into your house. Who are you gonna call? Or someone's raping you or about to murder you. Who are you gonna call? No one. Because your dumbass wants to defund the police and you got your way. You know? That's fucking brain. That's a brain dead thing to say. Defund the police. Should be the opposite way. We should be funding the police. Again, we need cops. But yeah. minutes 21 minutes all right seriously I really don't want to much to say um I'm almost home anyways I might call it a vlog so have a good uh, rest of your evening everybody